Well, sometimes you have maintenance issues, and today my Black & Decker Smart Charger is, uh, is having a problem. I got an F05 condition when I was charging my batteries last night, and that says that uh, the, there's an overheated condition. Uh, disconnect the charger and allow it to cool for 30 minutes, and that's when I noticed that my fan is not running. So, I'm going to take this apart and see what I can find. All right, so I pulled the uh, the smart charger apart. It is a total of ten screws holding this together, and as you can see, the the fan's trying to turn, but it's just not going to do it. So let's see if we can find something to replace this. Several years ago, I bought a package of ten computer fans on eBay, and I think I paid about twelve dollars for it. So. These would be perfect except for they're just slightly too big. So I'm going to see if I can repair this other fan, make it spin. Well, un unfortunately I was unable to fix the fan, so I think I'm just going to snip it off here and then mount, since the cavity here is not large enough for the replacement fan that I have, I'm just going to mount it on the external part of here and uh, have it blow in and see what happens. Got the trusty old soldering iron out ready to solder the wire, so let's have a look at that in a moment. Okay, so there it is. Got it buttoned down, it's running, it's providing air for the uh, for the guts. Got it all soldered in, so let me put it back together and see if we can charge batteries again now. Now the smart charger is all buttoned up and we have a working fan on the side. It is not pretty, but I don't have to buy a new battery charger now. So let's go charge some batteries. The smart charger has been, uh, been repaired. We have a working fan on the side. So maybe this time I can get a full charge on my batteries. Uh, without uh, the F05 error. So I've hooked my battery cable type leads up to the positive and negative here where the uh, charge controller from the solar panels comes in and uh, let's give it a charge. Okay, let's select the wet batteries here. We're gonna start out say on about 20 amps and let that charge for It'll probably take about six hours to top off these batteries. It will charge and, and continue to get lower and lower till it's finally on a trickle charge. And then will be displayed as full when they're ready. Okay, another thing you might notice since the last time I did a video, when I did the battery box video, is that I stripped this entire thing down and I painted the battery box. So it looks a lot nicer. Uh, Oddly enough, the color warm caramel looks a lot like MDF, so it, that didn't change that much, but it is all one color now, and it looks much better, and I think it will last much longer. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.